So now we are back with our get cover function. As you can see, before any of the values populated from a database, we have also placed this any uh, radio button. And we did not apply this get sticky function to it. And this is why we couldn't actually have the any button selected when a page first loads. So if we copy the get sticky function from the loop and after, before the closing uh, input tag, we place another double quote and semicolon, two lines, echo and double quote. Now if we paste our get sticky function, we still keep the uh, the case as for search cover and the values we're going to be passing the first one will be zero because it's search cover zero and the value of it is zero and then we want the fourth parameter which was optional but it's used for this fourth case to be one or anything else the the most important thing here is to make sure that this fourth value exists so you can paste put absolutely anything you can put uh, string you can put uh, number or whatever I'm just gonna simply put one here and now this will force our get sticky function as you can as you can, as you might may remember we're checking first whether the parameter has been set through the URL and its value equals to the value parameter sent to the function then we make it uh, checked otherwise if initial which is the fourth parameter doesn't equal blank which means if we have any value there then simply display apply checked to this field as well okay so now if we saved everything we go back to our page let's remove all of the gets from the url hit enter you can see that any is selected by default now and if we checked anything select some values from the drop down menu, click on search now again you can see any has been passed to the URL as search cover equals zero and it still remains selected. So that's everything in this chapter. Next chapter will be dedicated to actually populate information from a database and display them as a result in a table underneath. But before we do this, I can still see that we're missing some formatting here. And this is because we still didn't apply the class. We still didn't actually add the class to this table. So if we go back to the Dreamweaver and our index.php and look at our table tag, we need to apply class table search. If we save it now, go back to our browser, refresh, you can see the formatting is much better now. So Let's move to the next chapter and start populating all these records from a database.